Here we go. Take a look, take a look. Okay, there we go. I gotta put some, uh, gotta put some enthusiasm into it. I... Boom, there's a clean cut right there. Boom. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel and you're watching Miguel EDC. Today I have a very, very awesome unboxing here for you guys. It's gonna be an interesting one because the knife that's inside of this box is part of Left EDC's pass around. So if you haven't checked out Left EDC, check them out on YouTube here. Uh, his channel is about 18,000, if not 19,000 subscribers. And he has a group of uh, smaller YouTubers where we actually share and pass around uh, knives and share with each other, especially for us smaller YouTubers that don't have the privilege of getting knives sent to them by the major companies, by the major manufacturers, if you will. So this is an awesome knife right here. This one I believe is actually owned by JD for EDC. So also check out JD for EDC's channel as well. I believe this one is his own that he's also sharing and passing around as well. So uh, we got a box right here. I'm excited to share what's inside of this box. I'll put some affiliate links for this guy. If I can link it below, it's gonna be there as well as any other knife in this video. If you guys are ready, I'm ready. Before we get started, smash that like button if you don't mind. It is free after all. And doing the honors today, we have the Microtech Stitch, right? This bad boy right here. It is an awesome, awesome knife from Microtech with the manual ram lock. And I did an unboxing on this guy here not that long ago. It is a very awesome EDC that I am EDCing. And so far, I am in love with it, this thing. So it is going to be doing the... It is going to be doing the honors today. Let me see where I want to make an in, uh, incision here. So I probably want to save this box for when I do send it back. So let me find a way, probably find a good way to open through this box without making too, too much damage. I do have to return this knife, right? And the spirit of full disclosure. So I'll be doing an unboxing here, sharing with you guys everything you need to know about the knife. All right, so a bit of glue right there. Trying to do it in a way. There we go. All right, now we are talking. Come on, cooperate with me a bit here. There we go. Okay, and it's inside of this pouch here for extra security. Okay, we keep digging through this. And bam, there it is, you guys. So I can tell there's a little bit of uh, weight to it already. Right, it comes in this nice box right here. Take a look at a silhouette of the knife on the outside right there. And it is a knife from Quiet Carry. Quiet Carry, first time being featured here in the channel. So I am very, very excited for that. So let's uh, let's get into it, all right? Here we go. Take a look, take a look. Boom, all right, got a note right here that says, thank you for your purchase, limited time warranty. A warranty is simple, right? I'm gonna pause right there, or you can pause the video if you wanna go ahead and read through that. And bam, here is the knife, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm excited. I'm excited for this bad boy. So let me go ahead and take it out of the box. All right, first impression on the Quiet Carry Drift. Very, very elegant looking knife without a shadow of a doubt. Uh, I am already just admiring the fact that it is so elegant, so well done. And yeah, let's go ahead and open this guy here, shall we? Got a nice opening hole right there on the blade. So let's get a flip open here, shall we? Okay, there we go. I gotta put some, uh, gotta put some enthusiasm into it. I think I was being a rookie. I was being a total noob and pressing on the lock bar right there. That's not good. All right, let's try the reverse flick instead, shall we? Here we go, reverse flick. Bam, look at that, nice reverse flick right there. It is a frame lock going on here, locking mechanism. And something pretty interesting going on with this guy. So you have what feels like G10 on one side, you got this black and blue aesthetic to it going on, which feels really, really nice. With the four holes right there, that's a very unique, quite carry thing that they do on all their knives. A little bit of billboarding right there on the blade, but not a lot, very tiny font, which is nice. On the other side, we have what seems like titanium right is this titanium titanium on this side certainly feels like it and we have a deep pocket carry clip right there that is going to make it nice and very deep carry for sure nice milling on this on this side here right take a look at that the attention to detail feels pretty good it definitely adds to that elegant aesthetics again the four little holes right there which is something very unique and distinct about the 
quiet carry brand and okay let's try that opening once again bam okay there we go i just gotta figure that out right there boom gotta do it do it like you mean it boom pushing on the on the lock bar all right come on now boom there it is so you gotta make sure your fingers are out of the way not pushing on the lock bar in order to get a clean flip boom there it is so you can thumb deployment you could do the slow opening of course right you could do that you can do a reverse flick as well. Boom, you can do that. That's very, very nice there with the opening. Got a little bit of minor jimping going on here on the blade and, okay, so the crazy thing about this steel here is that this is LC200N. If you know anything about LC200N, this is a very, very corrosion resistant steel. The fact that it has basically been made so that it provides the most, the most corrosion resistant out of a lot of different steels. This one is, you know, up there in the scale as far as corrosion resistance. And you have a stone wash with a very mirror looking, right, in a way. It is uh, nice and polished too, to a certain extent. Flat grind going all throughout up until this point right here. So you know this guy's gonna be very, very slicey and it's gonna get some work done right there with how good that flat grind is all throughout. Nice and long blade right there. Medium knife, medium to large knife, and it's actually pretty light, honestly. I feel like the G10 scales definitely help quite a bit. And uh, honestly, you got a nice smooth surface here, and then you got some G10 going on on this side, right? You can get some grip right here for your for your fingers. Ergonomically speaking, it feels very, very comfortable in the hand. And I'll tell you that pocket clip, the way it's designed, right? There's no lift of any kind. Savivi, take some note. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's very elegant. Also very, very comfortable. Absolutely. A linear hole right here, I want to say on one side. So that's something different that I haven't seen in, in many other knives. Usually the hole goes all the way through, but on this one, they decided to do it on one side only, right? That's pretty interesting. If you're into laying your holes, you got a backspacer here, another backspacer right here as well. Open back construction for the most part. You got the frame lock release cut out right here. And uh, again, there's a very minor milling going on on the liners inside of the G10 side. No milling going on on this side. Something that I did notice with this guy is how drop shotty the action is. Check this out, right? Look at that. Boom. It drops shot very, very easily, very, very smooth. Look at that right here. Take a look. I want to say this guy is on ball bearings. Yep, definitely ball bearings going on right here. And that helps the action right there be very, very, very smooth. I got a, a very, in, you know, decently good and strong detent right there. All right, you guys get a feel for it. I want to say, I mean, elegance is, I think, the theme with this knife. I mean, I have seen a lot of different knives that are very, very elegant. And I think this one is up there with the whole elegant you know, modern folder type of aesthetics to it. Very, very functional from Quiet Carry. I believe they also do a lot of other knives in Vanex, 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 uh, Super Steel, which is also extremely, extremely corrosion resistant as well. But man, I'm excited to EDC this knife. Uh, and you know, just the feel in my hand already is just awesome, right? Very, very comfortable. I can get my grip right here. Got a nice belly to it as well. And I can tell this thing is a, a slicer. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Let's do some quick size uh, comparisons here just to give you guys an idea. Again, these are just some first impressions. So we'll put it next to the PM2. We'll check here next to the Para 3 as well, right? So you guys can get a feel for it. It's definitely gonna be somewhere in between the, Para, the PM2 and the Para 3, right? As far as uh, overall length right there, right? We'll throw in a Demco AD 20.5, in this case the shark's foot version. We'll also throw in there, because why not, the original knife that opened the box, <laughs> the MSI Stitch, not, not MSI Stitch, the Microtech Stitch right here as well, right? You guys take a look, it's definitely somewhere in the middle of those two, as a matter of fact. And then let's check out some last few ones here. Here's the Civivi Vision FG. And then also another great knife from Civivi that I'm EDC like crazy is the Civivi Sentinel Strike. All right, you guys take a look there. You guys be the judge. All right, it's just to give you guys an idea, a ballpark right there. This is a quick paper cutting test on this bad boy. Again, this thing is gonna be very, very, very slicey. There's absolutely no doubt. 
right? And again, it is not a brand new knife out of the box. It's certainly seen some use from fellow YouTubers that have been, you know, reviewing, checking this knife out, passing it around to other YouTubers. And I'm not sure where I'm at in the list, but I, I know that it certainly has already seen some use. So let's see how sharp it has, you know, how sharp it has remained. Oh, that's a good slice right there. I want to say cut right there a little bit. Boom, there's a clean cut right there. Boom. Yeah, definitely a slicer. Absolutely. Slicing like crazy. Go ahead and rate it in the comments from 1 through 10. I'm sure it's gonna, you know, it should come even sharper out of the box if brand new. So just, just to put the things in perspective, the fact that a lot of my peer YouTubers have already done a review video and also put these uh, put this knife to its paces right that kind of gives you an idea right there well i typically also cut some cardboard as well now i don't want to do this with uh, i don't want to do that with a knife that's not mine again i'm checking it out for review purposes so i definitely want to be very respectful of the owner so i'll reach out to jd for edc see if it's okay we're doing a couple of cardboard cuts possibly for the review video so if that's the case i'll do those cuts during the review video instead but you guys already know the drill by now this is an unboxing and first impressions on the knife what i'm going to do here is i'm going to edc this knife here for quite some time and i'm going to come back with some impressions for you guys right i'm going to tell you everything you need to know and i'm definitely going to get the hang of it here in the deployment Right, that uh, I do believe there is a version of the quiet carry that comes with thumb studs as well. This one again has the uh, blade opening instead of the thumb studs. So got quite a lot of options. And again, this thing is just very, very drop shotty, right? That drop shotty action is boom, so, so good. Still very, very aligned right there, even after some good use. And, uh, you know, good access to the thumb opening right here. Thanks to this nice indentation right here. It's even chamfered and everything on the actual scale, right? Even for the reverse flick, you got quite good access right there. And uh, good access to the lock bar as well. So you can see the lock bar is pretty good and uh, a little bit higher, a little bit taller than the scale, the G10 scale on this side. So access to the lock bar is really, really good. And man, I'm telling you, this thing is very, very, very smooth. So yeah, very elegant knife. I'm excited to EDC this guy right here. I only have, I only have a limited time. I believe I have around six to seven days to get a good feel for this guy before I'm passing this guy on over to the next fellow YouTuber who's going to be EDC in this guy. And eventually he's going to make his way back to JD for EDC. But again, I want to do a huge shout out once again, super grateful for Lefty EDC adding me to the pass around group and also JD for EDC. EDC for uh, lending and sharing this knife here for me to check out and uh, bring you guys up to speed on everything you need to know about the quiet carry drift on LC 200N awesome awesome EDC knife that I've just been hearing nothing but great things about so I'm gonna EDC this guy non-stop non-stop until I drop a review here which is gonna be a little bit sooner than I typically drop reviews uh, compared to other knives that I actually get to EDC for a little bit longer so I'm gonna try to get as much feedback as I can on this guy here with the short amount of time that I'm gonna have it in my procession uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and drop that video here very very shortly so if you don't want to so if you want to make sure you don't miss that review video, right, this will be a great time to subscribe to the channel and make knife content like this on an ongoing basis. If you haven't hit the like button at this point, what are you waiting for? It is absolutely free and it helps out the channel reach a larger audience. Lastly, if you want to take your support a step further, please consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. There's a link for that in the description. If you made it to this point, you guys are the real MVP. I love you guys. Thank you so much for all your support and I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.